Hi, on today's video, I'm going to go back to the book that we've referenced before. Uh, it's written by Elise Glink. I recommend it for any first time home buyer. The book is 100 Questions Every First Time Home Buyer Should Ask. Um, and on this video, we're going to talk about how much of a home can I afford. So there's two parts to that question. How much of a monthly payment can you afford uh, as far as your mortgage payment goes? And then two, how much of a total purchase price? So uh, what price range of home should you be looking at? Now, uh, it's pretty simple math. Um, and I actually have some worksheets that are taken out of this from this book uh, to help you calculate, number one, how much of a mortgage can you afford each month? And then what price range should you be shopping at? You can confidently look in that price range. Now, just because you can afford something doesn't mean you need to spend as much as you can afford, but you'll know what the upper limit is as uh, how much you can afford. Now, before we get to the worksheets, uh, basically uh, what you want to do is you want to start out, you want to look at how much are you uh, making each month? What's your gross monthly income? So for an example, if you're making $60,000 a year, your gross monthly income, $60,000 divided by 12 for 12 months of the year, that gives you $5,000 each month. So that's your gross monthly income. Okay, so now that we have your gross monthly income, we're gonna figure out uh, what percentage of your monthly income you wanna spend each month. If you're gonna be conservative, uh, you would, wouldn't wanna exceed 25%. If you're gonna be very, uh, if you're gonna be aggressive with it, you wouldn't wanna exceed 33%. So if you're gonna figure on the 25%, you take your gross monthly income, in this example it's $5,000 per month. $5,000 uh, multiplied by 25% equals $1,250. And you want to subtract out of that number uh, all of your debts. So that would include uh, student loans, credit card debt, um, car loans, uh, any of that stuff. You want to subtract all of those expenses out. And uh, let's just say for this example, you have $150 car loan, $150 student loan payments. Uh, so that's $300 of total debt. You subtract that, the $300 from your $1,250. So let's take a look at that example by using the worksheet. With $5,000 of gross monthly income, we're gonna multiply it by 25%. We don't wanna exceed 25% in this example. Multiplying our gross monthly income by 25%, we arrive at $1,250. We have $150 each for credit card payments and car loan payments. Subtracting the total $300 debt from our $1,250, we are left with $950. That's the maximum mortgage payment you want to make in this example. 